Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm gonna show you how to boost your FPS in the new FIFA 20. So first of all, we're gonna make sure that your Windows is properly set up. The first thing that you need to remove is your game mode. So write game mode in your search. Open the game mode setting. Make sure that game mode is at off. The other one that you want to turn off is your game bar. Really important. Put this one at off. And the last one is all those capture stuff. So background recording at off. Record audio at off. Off. Really important for all the game, not just FIFA, just remove all those parameters and you're gonna make sure that your uh, PC is properly optimized for gaming. Uh, second thing, the game itself. Uh, you don't have a lot of graphic parameter and you can't uh, change it in the game, so you need to change it in the launcher. So <laughs> that pretty much it. Pretty boring. Uh, so first of all, make sure that you're playing full screen, you're gonna lose FPS if you play window or borderless. Uh, the other thing is rendering quality. If you have like a decent GPU, medium should not be a problem. Uh, medium is a good fit in this game because I don't see a big difference between medium and high in the rendering. And uh, you will lose like 3 to 4% for each bracket. But for sure, if you have like an integrated video card or you're playing on the laptop, probably you should go with low. The other one is uh, the anti aliasing. 2x is a good uh, place to go. Uh, again, if you have like a laptop, old computer, integrated video card, uh, probably you will should go with off. Uh, the other one is the uh, frame rate. Um, you can uncap your frame rate if you, you want, uh, but uh, if you have like a 60 Hz screen, just go with 60 and lock your FPS with your uh, monitor. So that's about it for the game setting. Um, the other thing that you really need to do if you have an uh, issue with stuttering in your game, uh, it's to download the Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. It's uh, by One Yourself, a really good software. I had a some issue before in my previous rig when I had like just 16 gig of RAM uh, with the Division 2 Battlefield 5. Uh, Battlefield 5, by the way, is using the same engine as, as FIFA. So uh, this will purge your standby list uh, automatically. Windows have some issue with the standby list for the past like nine months. So really important to download this. It's honestly, it doesn't take uh, like it take. It's taking a small resources on your computer and it makes sure that everything is optimized. So uh, I will put the link in my video description to make sure that uh, you guys can find it. And the last one, last optimization. If you go to document, FIFA 20, open the FIFA setup here. So this is pretty much your config file. Uh, you, you, as you can see, you can't really change anything. But the really important one is the DirectX select. If you put one there, uh, you will change your game in DirectX 11. So really important to do that if you have issue with your FPS. Honestly, Frostbite doesn't handle well DirectX 12. A lot of random issues, start a ring, drop FFPS randomly. So just go with the DirectX 11, your game will be more stable and you will have more FPS. After that, make sure that you save, click X, and make sure that you go on properties and you put your file in read only. You want to block the file uh, because FIFA will override your par uh, graphic parameter if you don't do that. The only thing is, I don't know why, when I was playing the demo, I didn't have any issue with this now uh, sometimes F uh, my game doesn't want to open like origin is opening it's saying that I'm playing FIFA but my game is not open so if you have that issue uh, you will need to remove the read only here uh, the only thing with that is um, each time you will close your game you will need to redo the same parameter here go back and put the one there because FIFA is overriding it so uh, yeah, just tell me in your, the, your comment section if you have the same issue than me. Uh, probably they maybe they're gonna fix it with some patches. I don't know, but yeah, for me right now, I need to redo it each time. So that's about it for my video. If you have any questions, just comment in the YouTube section. Post me your rig, CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.